Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Okay, so let's have a look what tarot holds for us today, what message it has. This is the magical tarot. I will leave the link in the comment section below if you want to see any more of this deck. Okay, so this is Lord of Pleasure. Right, so just to give you a little bit of background on this card. Now, the triangle pointing down, as you can see it in four corners there, is Cups. This is the Four of Cups. We've got the Moon in Cancer which is the fourth house of the astrological chart. It's luxury. Chesed is um, one of the sephira on the tree of life, the Kamala. And there we've got the Hebrew letter, which I may be pronouncing wrong, but I think it's Tau, T-A-U. And that is uh, titled The Universe and its astrological component is Saturn. All right, now as you may see in that picture there, you've got the tree and the apples are falling to the ground. So this is Lord of Pleasure or Abandonment to Desire. So there's basically um, a couple of meanings to this particular card. And um, the first one is that um, something is coming to an end. So you've got the, the apples falling off the tree. They've got ripe. They've fallen off the tree. They've not been picked. They've not been harvested. They've just been left. So it could be a little bit of laziness going on there. Not, uh, not continuing with the hard work. Just allowing things to go with the flow, but not actually doing anything with it. But there's also... A meaning where there could be people trying to offer support and help but you're not trusting it not wanting that support maybe you don't trust that person or maybe you feel that you don't deserve that support or maybe you feel that um, maybe there's a there's some other reason that that support is being offered so you don't fully trust it you're a little bit suspicious of it okay so that's basically what that card means there. But the fact that it's a uh, cancer and the moon in the home, this could well be around the home environment. Because the fourth house is the home in the astrological chart. As I say, and that is ruled by cancer on the moon. Cancer is quite nurturing. The moon is very um, emotional, a lot of feelings to it. And so this is um, something to do with your, and well, cups as well as the emotions, isn't it? So this is your your feelings, your um, wanting to move away from something or someone, not trusting them. But also, as I say, sort of sitting back on your laurels and and not um, not continuing with the work that you've put into something as well or not continuing to sort something out, just allowing it to rot, just to fall and rot, which is uh, is never a good thing. Okay, So look around you, just take note of those people who are offering you support and advice and encouragement maybe in your work, what you're doing in life, and, and just take note of it, just instead of, pushing it away, just accept it for what it is. That person may not be as trustworthy as you think, but sometimes people can actually surprise you. And when they do give you encouragement or words of advice, sometimes they're, it's actually well meant and, and you should accept that. Okay, so don't always think that someone's trying to uh, um, say the wrong thing or trying to make things wrong for you or, or um, betray you or in any way. They, they don't always do that. There's always two sides to every person in there. So just, um, you know, when somebody's offering you advice, 
try to accept it for what it is and uh, accept the advice, the encouragement, the support, as I say, just to go with it. Don't allow the fruit of what you've done to fall down and rot. Pick it up, you know, grab it quick before it rots and before it turns into, um, was it rots, apples and, and fruits often turn into alcohol as they start fermenting in the sun. And, uh, you know, we all know what happens when um, there's too much alcohol on the go. Okay, so don't allow that to happen. All right, but let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, I'll catch you next time. I might do some more of these cards as well, actually, so look out for these ones. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.